Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your fancy blonde, fabulously dressed. giant club dates. Kathy Griffin has taken all those. Wouldn't kill you to get me another commercial. Okay. I'll show you fear. That's fear. Last year was a very difficult year. Joan will turn nothing down. I will do anything. I will wear a diaper. I love sex because you can do other things. You can iron, you can read a book, get your emails on your Blackberry. You haven't had your hair done yet? No. She's Melissa. These are all my jokes over the last 30 years. Why should a woman cook so her husband can say, my wife makes a delicious cake to some hooker? <laughs> and you wonder why I'm still working. All stand-ups are innately insecure. Age? It's the one mountain that you can't overcome. I have no one to say, do you remember? And that is very difficult. I think they need that reassurance. It's all a cover. I started with the plastic surgery, then I became the poster girl for it, and then I became the joker. It's spanking, you idiot. Nobody lives like this. Maybe the queen of England. This is how Maria Antoinette would have lived if she had had money. I'm getting ready to go to Wisconsin. When I say, where are the gays? They're going to tell us, dead, we killed them. <laughs> There's always an adjective before my name, and it's never a nice adjective. Oh, sure, turn against the queen! She is a snake. Much in the way that Jill Stiller paved the way for her, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for Joan. How can you not find Osama? He's on dialysis. There is one outlet in all of Afghanistan. Find the plug and follow the clue. Oh, like torches bad. Get a Brazilian wax. You'll give up secrets like you never knew you had. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Elaine, and we are here at the Gold Coast International Film Festival. And I'm here with this lovely lady who was a tremendous friend of Ms. Joan Rivers, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hey, hello. Joan and I went to high school. Introduce yourself, Dolly. Oh, Audrey Ilson Lambert. I live in Great Neck. And Joan and I were BFF. You remember I used that expression? Yes, best in, friends for life. In um, high school. Very tight. Oh, sleepovers at each other's homes. And I can tell you a cute story that wasn't mentioned in this. Joan's mother was very fussy about what her girls did and what they wore and where they went and who they went out with. And one night, Joan was in the foyer necking with a boy, and she feels a third hand on her neck. And who is it? Her mother grabbing her into the house because she didn't think the guy was good enough for her. I guess, as you heard me say, she would have thought Orrin Lehman was good enough for her from the famous yes. banking family. Yes, and I think uh, Joan was like that with her own daughter pretty much, too. She wanted the best for her daughter as well. Right. I think her husband's suicide probably was what caused the big rift between them, because Melissa felt her mother 
um, you know, didn't mourn enough. Well, people mourn in different ways. You know, it, it's a it's a very judgmental to say someone hasn't mourned enough. Or that is very true. That's very, very true. I didn't cry when my mother passed away, but I love my mother dearly. I cried when she got very sick and she couldn't talk to me anymore. Oh, wow. That was okay. de more devastating to me than what, because that's when I felt she died. She left you. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Interesting. Well, I thank you so much for I talking and being a part of this Gold Coast International Film Festival. And you are a lovely lady to talk to. And I'm sure you have wonderful memories of Joan. I do. I do. And as I didn't say there, but I will say now that I, the world, mourn Joan Rivers. I mourn Joan Sandra Malinsky. There you go. That was her real name. And thank you very much. Pleasure. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. There's more interviews right here at the Long Island Exchange.com and Cognac's Corner Magazine. Big champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. It's been a crybaby productions, darlings.